Remember how the Google repository provided access to a number of Google services, but in order to use them, we needed to be certain that the user's device had the SDK up to date and enabled. You want to check that this is true before attempting to make a call to any Google services, and more importantly, you want to build in graceful failures. So do you recall how, when we were learning Google Cloud Messaging, I mentioned that there were two approaches to doing this check? For GCM, we check that the SDK is available when the app activity is created, and if so, we register to receive messages. But if this registration doesn't happen, the user never gets a severe weather alert, but they also never know that they are missing out on the feature. The other approach was to perform the check at the moment when you are about to make the API call. And this could allow you to display different layouts depending on the result of that call. And that is just what we want to do for the Places API integration. Ideally, a user should not even know that they may be missing out on the place picker. That means that we need to structure our UI so that this feature only appears to users who can use it. So let's take a look at how we can build our location preference dynamically.